One of the ways you can handle distractions when you're praying is number one. First of all, approach prayer with an objective. Have a focus area. That okay, what am I doing? This one hour, is it to build fellowship? This one hour, am I coming to pray for a wife? This one hour, am I praying for my business? What is that time for? Establish an objective. Once you have established an objective, it's best that if you are praying on a specific matter, begin by praying in your understanding. Because the Bible is very clear. When you pray in the spirit, your mind is unfruitful. But when you pray in your understanding, you cannot pray words without your thoughts getting involved. Are you with me? So if you are praying in your understanding, I decided to pray with some of my sons last night. I came out. And they will tell you, people who have prayed with me, they know. I can do two hours in my understanding. Two hours. And most of the time, I'm just thanking God. And I'm quoting scriptures. This is why you must be a student of the Bible. You must be a student of the Bible. If you want your prayer to be effective, I told you one of the tools of the priest is the word of God. So beginning your understanding, Lord, I have come because I want to fellowship with you. The Bible says anyone who comes to you, you will in no wise cast out. Lord, I am here. Lord, I am here. Lord, I am here. Look upon me with mercy. Guide my hearts. Take over my thoughts. I don't want to waste time. I came that I might find you. Oh Lord, hide not your face from me. You said when I seek you, I will find you when I seek you with all of my heart. Who is he that can ascend the holy hill of the Lord? Who can stand in his holy place? He that had clean hands, a pure heart. Lord, I know I'm not perfect, so I ask for your mercy. My approach tonight is an approach of mercy. You said you will have mercy upon whom you will have mercy. You continue to build. You can do that thing for six hours. For six hours. So, when you find that you are doing that thing and your mind is going to certain places, you now convert those thoughts that are entering into your mind to prayer points. If there are not thoughts that can be converted to prayer points, pray with a notepad. That's how I overcame my own. So, if something jumps into your mind and you are praying in your understanding, it might be that the Holy Ghost is saying, Pray on this matter. You can touch it. The minute you will find out, the minute you deal with it in prayer, it goes. If it is not a matter that is related directly to what you are praying about, you might write it and say, Holy Spirit, I have realized that you want me to deal with this, then focus. Immediately, it leaves your mind to the paper. You deal with it. Are you with me tonight? Then when you are praying in your understanding, make the switch to praying in tongues. Allow it to be organic. When you begin to feel it in your belly that you should pray in tongues, begin to pray in tongues. Now when you are praying in tongues and those distractions are still coming, it's possible that it's the Holy Ghost trying to say, deal with this matter, deal with this matter. The same principles apply. Are you with me? If not, you, you will kneel down that you are, you, are, you are speaking in tongues. Go, go, go. go, go. Get, get, get. And all you have been thinking about is who won the Euro 2024. Say so messy leg like, comes swell up. Ah, beans, not the house. Beans, beans. And they like beans. So. so when I leave the tent now, and people are doing, see you like, but your mind is in a market. Right? So if you are worried, oh, no food, put it down. Put it down. Then continue to pray. It will get to a point that that thing becomes wood that you put in the fire. It becomes part of the prayer. You initiate it. Or you are praying and somebody's name enters your mind. You are just praying and all of a sudden, brother, Obiora enters it. Obiora, Obiora, Obiora. Immediately begin to pray for him. Lord, I don't know what is happening to my brother now. I don't know where he is, his wife, his children. Lord, preserve them. Oh Lord, is there something you want me to deal with specifically? Marakadai, Duza Baranish. As you are speaking in tongues, something might come. He's held, he's held, he's held. Oh Lord, I stand in the gap. That's how we do intercession. Are you with me? Otherwise, you will just get frustrated. You will say, my mind is always wandering. And Satan knows 
that you are absent minded, you are not really praying. Prayer must consume all of you. I've taught this before. Your spirit, your soul, and your body. Have you been blessed tonight?